What's up? Got some plans going. Gotta get the car started real quick. Got a lot of stuff that I need to get done and I've been procrastinating all day as usual. I'm going to Florida! Yeah, it's time. I need to go. I need to visit with my mother for a while. She came up here and visited with us, so I think it's only fair that I do the same in return. Hadn't been down there. I gotta get away for a bit. I'm, I'm getting drained from working a lot, and I'm getting drained from listening to complaining a lot. So yeah, I, I need a break. And I decided, because no one could watch my dog, that Rocky would come with me. Here's the thing, I've already been planning on taking him with me, but my mom was saying that it would probably be easier if I could have someone watch him. And unfortunately, it would not be a good idea for my grandparents to watch him and everyone else was busy. So he's going with. So this is gonna be a big thing for him as well. This is going to be a very long car ride. This is going to be, a, at the very most, 20 hours, just depending on how many times I'll have to stop for him whenever he's sitting back behind me. But yeah, I'm going to the store because I need to get some new windshield wipers. I feel like I'm going really slow. Well, I am going under the speed limit, but these turns are ass. I've been saying ass a lot lately, I don't know why. I wanted to get a few snacks because I really didn't want to stop on the way. If I can avoid, you know, stopping at any fast food places or any food places in general on the way, that would also help out with my budget. I do have my paycheck coming in hopefully tomorrow. If it doesn't come in tomorrow, this is going to be an embarrassing video to try and record. But my paycheck should be here tomorrow and that's going to be my budget for getting down there because it's going to cost an arm and a leg no matter how you do it. It probably won't cost me as much of an arm and a leg with this vehicle than it would have with my previous vehicle. My previous vehicle was a V6 and this is a four cylinder. So hopefully this will help out a little bit, but still gonna cost a lot. So I need to hold on to everything I got. Okay, I don't know how you did it, dude, but you got a leaf on your butt. A uh, leaf it's on your butt and you still smell like skunk a little bit. I wasn't planning on including the skunk fiasco of him in this video. <laughs> Jesus, but uh, if you want to see it go become a member you sit over here sniffing something I don't know what it is. Oh look look at all those spider webs. Oh That's freaky. So I've been having a problem today. I have been slacking off bad I've been slacking off because I'm just I'm tired <laughs> This is my time to be off, but at the same time, I got a long drive ahead of me, and so I've just been really procrastinating on getting everything clean in here. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that all the crap that's in here is all picked up, and then I'm going to make sure that whatever clothes I need are, you know, ready to go, and then I could just put them in the car. All right, so here's the deal. I got me a good amount of clothes, probably more than what I'm going to need because I'm only gonna be down there for like five or six days. So I think I got enough clothes all right here to kind of, well, you can't even see it, to kind of compensate for everything that I need. All my underwear, shorts, all that. I think that's enough. And then I'm also going to be taking my hard drive that I have that's a Red Bull cam. What is that doing up there? That needs to go too. See, I'm telling you, I leave stuff everywhere. Now, um, that hard drive is gonna go with me so that way I can work on YouTube videos while I'm down there because I'm gonna take the laptop. So YouTube videos will still be coming. And then I look up here and then I see all this crap. What is all this? Uh, all these spider webs and stuff. Like, why? This is my place. I don't go bugging you in your place. You don't come bugging me in my place. Good morning. I'm working on uploading a short video right now, or at least getting it rendered. I just went ahead and did a short video today just talking about my YouTube channel. I know it's not going to be the most intriguing, but, you know, I figured I'd post it. And now I'm going to be 
slowly getting ready. Today is the day. A couple hours will be the couple hours. I'm, I'm waiting on my paycheck to come through before I really get going, but I got my snacks and everything, so it's, it's at least good. Now I gotta just pack up the rest of my stuff. So a little bit of an update. We're in Mississippi right now and it's starting to get dark. So I'm not really gonna be able to record very much through here. So uh, yeah, that's fun. Luckily it's a wide open interstate that I could get through. So it's not gonna be too bad of a drive. And also it's gonna be nighttime. So nobody's gonna be on the road. Rocky's been having fun back there though, haven't you Bubba? He's been sleeping the whole time. <laughs> Gotta get the flippy floppies on. All right, Rock, go potty. Time to go potty. All right, I guess you're done. So back in the car, Bubba. All right, gonna finish this bag of chips real quick and we're gonna get back on the road. Ain't that right, Rocky? Listen, I tried to share one of these chips with you and you didn't want it. This is the Florida Welcome Center. Rocky, we made it to Florida, bud. We made it to Florida, holy shit. Right across the border is Alabama or, yeah, what was it? Yeah, it was Alabama. I, I couldn't remember. I always get Alabama and Mississippi mixed up. And across this border is my destination. Holy shit. I mean, I've done the drive before and I know it's just Florida, but it's just like, you know, I don't do this very often and I've never had my dog with me. And this was a crazy experience to think like, hey, I'm taking them to Florida. And now we're here. <laughs> Holy shit, that long ass drive. Car is still dirty as hell, but we made it. My baby girl did it. You got us here. <laughs> Don't worry, Rocky. We're on the final stretch, Bubba. You can barely see him. He's just like, can we please get out of this car? Oh, thank God we made it. Thank the Lord. All right, now it's time for me to go to sleep. Have a good night. All right, we made it to Florida and now I'm very hungry. I, I just took me a long ass nap. And now I am going to go and get me some Chinese food. I was gonna see if my mom wanted some, but she's doing the healthy eating and she cannot bear the thought of having Chinese food. So I'm gonna go to this Chinese food place that she told me was really good. It's right up the road from her house. And uh, it, it's not, it, it, apparently everyone swears by it. It's not like a bad place to go to it seems. So I'm gonna see what they got. Okay, first actual night in Florida. Yay. My mom's dogs were keeping me company. Rocky, he was hanging out with my mom. So it wasn't too bad. Then I guess my stepdad is going to be playing with his band tomorrow. And we're probably gonna be watching that for a little bit and then just kind of hanging out. There's not a heck of a lot that we can really do. I think my mom is trying to get a little bit of extra time to go to Disney because she was saying that Disney on a weekend is completely awful, which I mean, I think that's always been well known but we're gonna try to go to the beach or i'm gonna try to go to the beach one or the other and 
yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna be chilling out. There's my mom's girls. This is Bella, and Rocky's gonna get in her face, even though she does not like Rocky. And this is Layla. Layla's a good girl. They're both very old girls, but Layla's the oldest. They're very sweet. They're both rescues. This one is just very timid and scared of most things, as you could tell. And Rocky apparently is the scariest thing she's ever seen. And Layla, she's just chill. Hey, 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 be easy, be easy, Rock. He's been doing good. He's still very smelly, but he's going to be getting washed here soon. I think my mom and I are planning on doing some stuff today, but I'm gonna go and check out and see if the pool is good or not. Damn dog, it's still only 77. My mom's trying to heat it up to 88. I think she's just doing that as a generic temperature, but damn. Let's feel how the pool feels. It actually does feel warm. Oh, ooh. Until it gets to your legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping since today is gonna also be in the 80s that hopefully the pool heater will warm up a little bit and then Rocky can get in here. Stop drinking the water. It's chlorinated water, bro. Don't drink that. Bella. What you doing? What you doing? You being a good girl? Oh, you're being a good girl. Oh my goodness. Here comes Rocky again. Yes, I know, I see you. I always see you. I will never ignore you, Bubba. Okay, so I got him a harness from the local Wally World. Only less than $4 for it, so hopefully it'll go good. You're about to start wearing a harness Instead of a nasty, skunk-smelling collar, you're about to get a harness. I have never put a harness on a dog before, so this is a whole brand new thing. I'm sorry, I just screwed you with that. I'm so sorry. Would you shake your face at me? This is large, right? Yeah, this is large. Oh, yeah, I was literally about to put it on you the right way. I could just stretch this around you properly. Okay, I think I got it. How does it feel, Rocky Dew? I know it's weird. Come here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, you're a harness dog now. I don't know how he feels about it yet. Now I'm gonna check how the pool is doing. The sun was on it for a little bit, so hopefully it's not too bad. I don't even know if you can really see it, but it's saying that it's at 79, it's set for 88, and it's 95 outside. Are you gonna swim? Are you gonna swim? I'm gonna let you go. Are you gonna swim? I wanna see you swim all the way over there to Grandma. Okay? Ready? Go. <laughs> there you go. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have got the largest step. You gotta figure out the ledge, buddy. Time to go see my stepdad practice with his band.
Good morning or afternoon, whichever one that it may be for you. I know it's about to be 12 here, so good noon. <laughs> We're going to go and take the dogs to get a wash. Hopefully we can get Rocky in there because he smells very bad. So we're gonna hopefully get him in there. Problem is, is that my mom's one dog does not like him. And so he may not be able to go in the kennel with them. But I am gonna drive him over there. She's gonna drive the other dogs over there and then we'll, you know, go from there. I'm hoping that they'll take him. He's not fixed. So I don't know how they're gonna feel about that, but we'll just have to see. All right, we got Rocky home and he was very, very, very thirsty. <laughs> Look at my boy. No, don't drink that. Look at my boy though. Look at my boy, he's so clean. He's so clean. He smells a lot better. Smells less like skunk. He got an oatmeal bath. He got an oatmeal bath and he, I got told he did so good. And he smells good too. Look at all. And they gave him a little Halloween bandana. So cute. Isn't that right, Rocky? Rocky, Rocky. Rocky's a good boy. Rocky's a good boy. My mom and I are about to go shopping so we can go and get some grub and we're gonna do an outside pool day. So uh, yeah, that sounds fun. Come along. So I was walking around out here and I noticed all of these toys here. Now, they may not mean anything to some people, but for me, the reason why they mean some stuff to me is because these were my dog's old toys. And unfortunately, he's no longer with us because he just got real old and he had tumors in his throat and stuff. And he was struggling, but kind of crazy because he's been gone for a while. My mom has kept every one of his toys. You gotta get the ball, Rocky. You gotta get the ball. Get the ball. You gotta get the ball. Oh, thanks for the close-up of your butt. Did it? Yeah, it. Ooh, ooh. don't slip. Oh. oh, now you did it. Now you did it. You gotta get the ball. Don't fall in the pool. <laughs> you go. <laughs> you think this is waterproof? I got the ball. I got the ball. You gotta come in here to get the ball. You gotta come in here to get the ball. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you just want that ball. Go get it. Go get that ball. Good boy. All right, bring it this way. Omaha steak season. Okay. Alright. Oh, or not. Got a good spot here. Let's try it out. There you go. Now yeah. you go in heavy. Oh. How am I supposed to learn if you're doing all of it? Oh, here. And then after you get some pack. Yeah, because it spreads it out. No, you want to put it to it here. To adhere. Yes. You want it to stick. Can you see if Rocky's okay? He's, he's fine. He's fine. 
and then you flip. Now, now you have steak hands and no paper towels. So you gotta wash your hands. You go heavy. I, I, I didn't want to just have a blob though. There you go. Now we're cooking. Then you pat, 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 and then you have to do the sides. <laughs> the Omaha steak seasoning. Yum, yum. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Aren't you glad I'm here to help? Oh, yes. <laughs> this is my mom, by the way. The end, you can just dab into the leftover on the paper. Left handed. What are you doing? You're not lucky. I can do actually a lot more with my left hand than my right for some reason. That's odd. Dip Put your hands into the seasoning on the paper. Oh, uh, like that? Yeah, there you go. You gotta cover your hands too. You see, when you have a thick steak like that, you have to season the sides. Or else you have these dead blah parts. Y'all better write this shit down. It's very important. You gotta season all the way around. Yeah. Now you're getting it. Yeah. Okay, right. do you feel like they need more, or do you think they're covered? Uh, give me a little more for at least this one. Now rub it in, or pat it in. You don't rub, because if you rub, you just rub it right off. You tap, yeah. and that sucks it in there. We did all that. Hmm. Look good. We got third-party quarterbacking from another room trying to tell us how to cook. Hey, at least, at least I'm attempting to cook. That's okay. more than what I Now, you let them rest for a minute to let all that seasoning soak in. Just let it appear really good. Yeah, there you go. Now you're getting it. Now, you just let them sit up there, make sure the dogs are in another room. I'm out there, so we're good. I use the soap for hands. Oh, for dishes? Yeah. Well, you could use a dish one if you want to. It dries up your skin. Oh, and there's a giant box. <laughs> Get her, Rocky. Get her. Get her, Rocky. Get her, Rocky. Get her. Good boy. Good boy, Rocky. <laughs> In all the years I've ever come down to Florida to any beaches, I've never had someone do this to me until just now. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a different culture. <laughs> this is probably the windiest experience I've ever had at a beach ever also. Like, 
It is so unbelievably windy out here. It is crazy. Sorry, Mr. DeSantis. I know you said a lot of people shouldn't come to Florida, but I'm just visiting family. I'm not doing anything wrong, I promise. God, it, even after a hurricane, y'all have beautiful beaches. <laughs> We're in Disney! <laughs> uh, my mother has left me alone to go and do rides. I'm gonna go over to Mission Space and hopefully not get sick. That one I always got sick on because it was tipsy turvy. But uh we're gonna try it now as an adult. We're gonna see how well my stomach can handle this. She refuses to get on it because she's gonna be miserable, so I can't wait to see what happens now. Oh boy. Motion sickness during and after we go hard in this. I'm gonna die. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die doing this. Motion sickness is inevitable on this version. Alright, I'm alive. I don't know how I made it, but it actually wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> now we're just going on scavenger hunts. I got a passport now. I'm an honorary ambassador. So uh, yeah, let's, let's go take a look at some more rides in the countries. What you having? Lobster. And what do you think? Very good. It's delicious. You got the garlic butter. Dipping in the butter. Mm-hmm. Just shove it all in there. I'm savoring it. Savor the flavor. <laughs> Very tasty. Ten out of ten. Alright, so we got steakhouse burger and we got this thing called the swine brine which mine is extremely full and it has meat in it 
and that's different because I've never seen that before. Yeah, meat's pretty good. And then alcoholic beverage, 21 plus only. Mm. Actually, that's pretty good. I feel like an adult now. You mm -hmm. just put your meat back into your drink. I did. <laughs> that's where it goes. Let's cut this burger. See what's going on on the inside here. Ooh, that, that meat has an interesting taste to it. Don't All steal right. my side. You steal both sides. No. I'm going to steal both of the sides of the burger. Mmm. That's good. Yeah? It's juicy. Not like real bad on the meat. Oh, it's delicious. I, I don't think I'm gonna give any other ratings except for 10 out of 10 on the food here. <laughs> That's really good. I only take you to the best places. Exactly. <laughs>
They is it? They didn't mess up. I can't make them. I've tried and I ruined them every time. It's just, well, then that means you did it wrong. Well, I'm aware. But, I'm fully aware I mean, of my shortcomings as a noodle cook. But, you know, I think there could have just been like a little more in it, you know? More flavor or more noodle? No, more flavor. There's plenty oh, of noodle. I thought the flavor was on point. Now, if you want to talk about how many noodles there are, that's 10 out of 10. They had plenty of noodles. Yeah, I will tell you the portion sizes this year have been really impressive. You can use the fork, dude. I was just messing with you. No, no. <laughs> she yelled at me for the chopsticks. So. <laughs> Remy the rat navigation scavenger hunt is starting to bug the crap out of me because I still don't know where the stupid thing is. I am looking everywhere and I cannot find him for the life of me. Mamma mia, we found the rat. There he is. What did, what did you say it was called? Nagori Saki. It definitely smells strong for sure. Good, huh? Wow. Isn't that good? I won't be able to drive for three days. <laughs> that is some crazy, like, it's not bad at all. See, I, I drank so yeah. much that I, I had to be in the cart now. I <laughs> wonder where the rat is. Aha, there he is. Hey there, Remy. Thank you for the eggplant. Yeah, this scavenger hunt has been interesting. <laughs> Can't really figure out where the dang rat is every time.
bring joy. Remember, food always comes to those who love to cook, but not to those who are able to love. <laughs>
Rocky. 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 Rocky do. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Rocky's first beach. He's got to smell everything. It's all different smells, Rocky. You're not used to this. We definitely need to get off of here, though, so that way your feet aren't getting all burnt up. Oh my goodness. What is that, Rocky? What is that? What is that, bubble? You don't even really care about the waves. You just want to drink the water, but this is not the water for you to drink, Bubba. <laughs> oh my goodness, here it comes. Here it comes. It's... Here it comes, Rocky. You don't want to drink that, Bubba. You're going to need some regular water. Today's the day, driving back to the Ozark Mountains. It's going to be cold as hell. I know I'm a grown ass man and I could do as I please or I could live where I want and I could do what I wanna do. But God damn it, I do not wanna go back. There's so much here in Florida. There's so many good opportunities. There's lots of good jobs. It's flatland, it's the beach, there's Disney, there's all sorts of other amusement parks even. Bush Gardens, Universal, SeaWorld. There's all sorts of cool stuff here. And I would love to just stay. But unfortunately, once again, it is not my time. If I could just convince my grandparents to find a goddamn house here. That's what's really holding me back is that my, it's not necessarily my grandparents, it's the thought of me leaving my grandparents is what's holding me back. I, I feel really bad and I don't wanna do that to them. I moved in with my grandparents because, well, for starters, my grandfather was on death's door at the beginning of this year. And now that he's not, he's back to his own old self and everything, I'm like, okay, well, I don't have to worry about that no more. But then my grandmother still needs help. The thing is, is that they've been around for almost nine decades altogether, especially my grandfather, he's 90 years old. So he, he's definitely been around for nine decades, but my grandma is getting the same way. And if I could just convince them to just get something down here, everybody is so worried about money, 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 and I get that. But for them, the only best way to do things is to get down here. Everything is expensive down here, but guess what? Everything is expensive everywhere that you live. It's a thousand to $2,000 a month for rent almost everywhere you live. As much as I know my grandmother doesn't wanna leave her house in the woods, they need to leave. And I'm sitting here trying to convince them over and over and over to leave because they need to come here. My mom could help if she was closer to them, but she's not gonna move back up to the Ozark Mountains. She wants to stay here and I don't blame her. This is what she's always wanted to do. I've heard her talk about this since I was like four. She needs to be able to have a job if something were to go wrong tomorrow. And here she's got it. And I know here I would have it too. That's what we do in this family. We like to make shit difficult on everyone, but not to fear. Jake's squad will be coming down to Florida again. I just hope to God that it'll be permanent this next time anyway i'm gonna get this clip off this phone real quick and clear off everything that i need to clear off on here because i gotta get ready to go so uh yeah say goodbye florida